What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have a, mm, I guess it's kind of an unboxing video for you. It's kind of a new taste tester snack thing. This video is gonna be for, well, let me open this box first, hold on. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and trying Go Cubes. These are chewable coffee things. You guys know, I, I'm not a huge fan of coffee, like drinking coffee. I really wish I was, I wish I could drink coffee, I just, there's something about, I don't know what it is, it's like the taste of it, but I love coffee candy. These things are kind of like, I mean, I think they're gonna be like chewable coffee cubes, and I'm hoping that they're a little bit like coffee candy, but then they have the strength of coffee in them. So it says that there's two cups per pack. So a little bit about this box. Pricing wise, you can get these on their website. You can also get them on Amazon. Uh, on Amazon, it's $39 for like this box. So this is a box of 20 and then there's, so there's 20 packs of four in this box, which is quite a lot because each pack has two cups of coffee. So what does that mean? So that each chewable is half a cup of coffee, I believe. You can also go on their website. They have a sampler one that you can buy that's $13.50. Um, actually on their website, it's a little bit cheaper. It's $35.10 for this box. Although I don't know if they charge you for shipping. And on Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, then you know, you can just go through there. So these are vegan and gluten free. And they have different flavors. There's three different flavors. There's pure drip, mocha, and latte. I feel like mocha is gonna be my favorite because if I had to drink coffee, I've definitely chosen to drink mochas over anything else. Each cube is equivalent to half a cup of coffee. So each four pack is two cups of coffee. It's made from cold brew, real cold brew. So I know, again, I'm not super into coffee. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I have a lot of friends that are into coffee and a lot of my coffee friends like cold brew, which I think is, I don't know what that even means. And then each of these has, uh, what is it? Like vitamin B and L the nine for balanced and healthy energy. I'm just reading this off of the Amazon page, so I, I don't know, you know. Uh, and they're super convenient because you can actually put them in your purse cart. So I'm excited to try these because again, I'm not a huge fan of drinking coffee. I feel like when I drink coffee, I have to put a lot of cream and sugar in it to make me want to drink it. But I love coffee candy. I like love coffee candy. My favorite coffee, it used to be C's coffee candy. They stopped selling that. And now Trader Joe's sells coffee candy that I love. And I can literally eat like 20 of these. I don't think these are gonna be exactly like coffee candy because I'm pretty sure these are gonna be more true to like real coffee. Oh, they're like jelly. They're like jelly cubes. This is what it looks like when you open the box. So again, one pack of these is the equivalent of two cups of coffee. That seems like a lot. How much coffee do people drink? Now, I know there's different flavors. I'm not quite sure how to tell. Oh, oh, there's, oh, I guess in each container there's different flavors. Oh, that's great. I'm, def I'm definitely not gonna be able to tell. It says that mocha is the darkest, latte is the lightest, and the pure drip is an in-between. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll just go for it because I don't really know. I'm not gonna try all of these, obviously, because that would be kind of crazy. I feel like that'd be like a million cups of coffee. So I guess let's just open up one and hope that we got one of each. I'm trying to look at the differences, but I can't. My eyes aren't that good to actually be able to tell. I guess let's just go for it. We'll just have to guess. Okay, so this is a pack of four, sorry. And the, the candies, let me open this up and show you. Ooh, they smell like coffee, that's for sure. I don't know how much of a fan I'm gonna be of the texture of these, cause they're like jellies, but they're coated in in, in some kind of, I think it's sugar, it's like some kind of crystally thing. But it's odd that they're, are these gummy? Or are they jelly? I don't know what these are. It almost feels like a mochi. I'm kind of excited to try this. Wait, my battery's about to die, hold on. All right, here goes nothing. I have no idea what flavor this is. Let's just do it. I definitely have as a coffee flavor. I don't know, what are the choices? I think this might be pure drip. I'm having a hard time with the texture because gummies for me, I already have a weird textured thing with gummies sometimes, but it's interesting because it tastes like coffee. But then there's this like kind of tang to it, which is interesting. I think that's the only thing that I'm not a fan of is the tanginess to it. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know if these are all the same flavor. I'm pretty sure that was pure drip though. It says that there's different flavors, but these all kind of look the same, so I don't really know. I guess we'll try one more, because I don't think I need any more caffeine. I don't know how fast this stuff's gonna kick in, but this is the second one. It looks exactly the same. Maybe I'll just do, I'll bite it so you can see what the inside looks like. Okay, this one's different. This one's not as strong. I think this one, I think it either might, I don't know the difference between 
a mocha and a latte. I'm going to say that it's probably a latte, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure, but this is what the inside looks like. It's like a jelly, which isn't terrible, if, especially if you are okay with that texture. There's a little bit of tanginess to them, which is interesting. It's got like a, not sour, it's like, yeah, like a tang to it. I don't know if that's just part of the gummy. Should I try one more? That one definitely wasn't as strong as the first one. The first one was really strong. That's why I feel like it was the pure drip. I guess, let's just try this one and see. That one did have a little bit of a, um, a bitter aftertaste. Well, I, I think the first one probably did too. I think this one's the same as the one I just had. Oh, it looks the same too. That might be... I don't... I think that... I've never had a latte before, so I don't know. All right, let's just try this one because we might as well. There's four in each pack. This one looks darker, so maybe this one's the mocha. They said the mocha was the darkest. Should I rinse my mouth out? Okay, let's try a bite of this one. This one's different. I think this one's mocha. I feel like out of the three, mocha would be like the least strong and this one tastes the least strong. Okay, so that was a taste test of these chewable coffee go cubes. Now, here's the thing. Again, I don't like coffee. Um, these ones definitely had a strong coffee flavor. So not like coffee candy, which is a little bit dialed down. I feel like a little bit sweeter. These ones definitely were more like real coffee. I can still taste the bitterness in, in my mouth. Um, I would say that the, that I actually like these, especially if you like getting that caffeine fix, but you don't necessarily like drinking coffee or you just don't have time to drink coffee. These are pretty good. Again, I'm not a huge fan of jelly things, and it was interesting to have a, a coffee flavored jelly because that's really interesting. I've never had that before. Um, if you like the flavor of coffee, I think you actually might like these. There is a little bit of tanginess to them, like like a hint of sourness. I don't know what that comes from. I don't know if it's, if it comes from the jelly or they just put that in to make it more like some kind of candy. Um, and then my only other complaint is the fact that within each pack you could get three different flavors and it's really actually hard to determine which one is which, um, but when you actually are eating them, you can tell. So I definitely think I got one pure, I think that first one was a pure drip, it was very strong. I think the second one was a latte, and I think the third one, or the last one that I had, I think I got two lattes, and then the last one I had I think was a mocha. If you were to eat all four of these, again, that's two cups of coffee, which is a lot of caffeine. I just think it's cool to get a quick caffeine fix. I'm always looking for that, to be honest, without actually having a lot of calories. How many calories are in these things? So two pieces, if you ate two of these, that's four. 40 calories, so if you ate four of these, that's 80 calories, which I don't think is bad. I'm pretty sure that if I got a coffee, the amount of sugar and cream I put into it would make my coffee like 400 calories, so that's always a plus too. So these are quick, easy, and they're pretty low in calories. Um, I'm more of a tea drinker. I usually drink unsweetened tea. You guys know that, but these actually are something that I would, I wouldn't mind keeping with me. So if I needed that quick caffeine fix, because for me, tea takes a little bit longer. Like when I drink a tea, it actually takes for me it takes a couple hours to kick in so I'll be interested to see how long it takes for these to kick in because it's early in the morning and I'm excited to have a pick-me-up early in the day so you guys those are pretty good um, again I'm not a huge coffee fan so I wouldn't say those are my favorite but I know a lot of people drink coffee I know that you guys drink coffee too because you guys have said that um, when we've talked about Starbucks and stuff so it might be something interesting for you to check out again you can go on their website I'll link it down below and then they also have them on Amazon Prime although if you get Amazon Prime I think you have to get this whole box I don't think they sell like a smaller pack like they do on their website so it's just up to you but I'll make sure everything is linked below and you can check it out all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video feel free to click the like button below if you want to see more unboxing videos go and check out my channel I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these has anyone had these does anyone eat go cubes let me know what you guys think about them if you've had them before down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!